In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make white noise in FL Studio. It's gonna sound like this. And like this. And like this. What's up my producer friends, it's David with anothermonsterproductions.com. So there are actually many different ways to generate white noise in FL Studio. In this particular tutorial, I'm gonna be using GMS, which is a stock FL Studio plugin. It comes with all versions of FL Studio. So once you have GMS loaded up, the first thing that you wanna do is go to where it says bank here. Let's click this, go to user and go to default. So this is just gonna get us a default preset. And what we're gonna do is go to where it says noise and just crank this all the way up. So it's gonna sound like this. So now we just have noise coming out of this plugin. And let's go up to our Unisono tab here and where it says voices, let's just bring this all the way up. Let's go ahead and bring the stereo up as well. So let's try about 90%. So now we have a nice wide sounding white noise. And what I'm gonna do first is go ahead and make the sweep down effect. So how we would do that is we'd bring down the cutoff. Let's just bring it down to about 25%, 20%, something like that. And then we'll go to our envelope and bring the amount all the way up. And because our envelope is linked to the filter right now, it's gonna slowly decay over time. And we can mess with the decay time if we wanted a faster decay. But if you want that long decay, I would leave this all the way up, leave the amount all the way up. And let's try bringing the cutoff to about 10%. Now, in order to make this sound just a little bit better, let's incorporate some resonance. So what resonance will do is it gives it sort of almost like a, a firework effect, I guess, or like a missile sound or something. It sounds like this if we were to bring it all the way up. So that may be something you potentially want to experiment with to get a sound like that. Uh, let's try like 50%. Let's go down to like 40%. All right, so that sounds pretty good to me. Let's move on to our effects section and just add a little bit of reverb just to see what that sounds like. So you can just click on here and drag it around and kind of see where you like the sound. So right about there sounds pretty good to me. I don't want too much reverb. We're just adding a little bit of wetness to the sound. Now, if we want a sweep up effect instead of a sweep down, all we have to do is basically rearrange these two things. So we'll bring the decay all the way down to 0%, bring the attack all the way up to 100%, and that's gonna sound like this. and then it just stops. Now how we would do the last effect that I showed you is basically we just bring the cutoff back all the way up to the top. So now we just have straight white noise playing. The envelope's not filtering out any frequencies because we brought our cutoff all the way up. And potentially we could just take this sound and bring it into our playlist and then automate it with some volume and kind of mess with it that way. But we can also just do it with the LFO inside the synth. So how we would do that is we would go ahead and click level, click beat, and this is gonna link it to the tempo of the track. And then we'll just bring the rate up to, let's go one to one, uh, and then start bringing the amount up. Now, make sure you hit re-trigger. That's gonna make sure that it's actually starting in the same place every time you hit it. And then also we want invert. Now we may wanna go back into our filter settings and mess with this resonance, cause now it's just sound, it just sounds like kinda of weak when we're doing this. So if we bring this back down, bring it all the way back down to zero. And now we have more of a, more of a rich, deeper tone, I guess. And then we may wanna go back into our effects section and maybe experiment with this reverb again. Maybe we just wanna take the reverb completely off. So feel free to get creative with this, experiment with maybe some other effects and all the other parameters that I showed you. We can also go into our EQ section and enable the EQ and just kind of mess with this a little bit um, just to potentially get, you know, maybe a brighter sound or kind of shape the sound the way we want it a little bit more. If you want to watch more GMS tutorials, I'll be sure to leave a couple on the screen right now for you if you want to check those out. I'm also going to be doing more of these in the future and eventually be doing some Citrus and probably some other sound design tutorials with with more stock FL Studio plugins. So keep an eye out for that. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you wanna get notified when I release those. 
and I'll see you in the next video.